Thank you very much, Jim McDonald. Thank you and the city of Atlantic City very much as well for the hospitality as we keep it rolling here on our MAC basketball season tip-off show. And we go to Western New York. Let's welcome in the Niagara Purple Eagles and Coach Greg Paulus. And we're so happy to be joined by David Mitchell. And, and gentlemen, first of all, thank you for joining us. And Coach, how are you doing today? <laughs> this, is, uh, this is awesome. It's, uh, you know, you keep talking about the season being here, the season being here. And when you have days like today, you realize, hey, it's really right around the corner. So it's pretty exciting to be here. And, and Coach, I know you pride yourself in being a teacher as a coach, a coach teacher. Uh, how has it been blending the new guys in with your system? Yeah, it's, uh, it takes time. You know, we have eight new guys. Uh, it's, it's been a really fun group to, to be around every single day, to get to know them away from the court, to spend time with them on the court and learn. And, and uh, so it's, it's been, uh, you know, it takes time. As a coach, a, as you know, you, you want it to happen overnight uh, or a little bit quicker maybe. But uh, for us, this has been a great group to be around. It's been a lot of fun. And, and how has practice been going? I know you're the leader out there. All right, mm -hmm. How are you expressing your leadership with the new guys? It's great. Um, just trying to make sure that we all get on the same page. Um, you know, whether the coach says it might not happen overnight, but I think the most important thing is just making sure that we all understand that it's going to be a journey. Um, it's, gonna, it's a long season. Obviously, we haven't even started playing games yet, so a couple months till we're back here, but just trying to make sure everyone takes it day by day and we all take those one or two steps instead of trying to make a major jump. And David, I want to, you know, let's stay on that topic for a minute. Like you mentioned, with so much work still in front of you and of the teams in general, how you approach the preseason now? Like Coach mentioned, new players in the fold, but as one of the veterans who's been in the program, how do you now approach a preseason like this, getting ready for the start of the year? Yeah, so we're just trying to stack days, take it day by day, um, try to get 1% better every day in practice. Um, we know that we may not be able to be where we want to be in December, um, but at the end of the day, we're just trying to be better for the next day in October, next day in November. So every game we're trying to go one and zero. We're not trying to look too far ahead. Every practice we're trying to get better. Once again, we're not trying to look too far ahead. And, and coach, what do you like about this group? I know they're hardworking. Mm -hmm. They they play your style of basketball. But what really strikes you in the preseason right now? Yeah, I think uh, just the ability to uh, apply what we're working on, uh, whether that's uh, in a meeting, a film session, uh, you're making points on the floor. Um, they've been able to really pick things up uh, at, at a quick level. And so to be able to see the, the individual progress, uh, the team progress, and uh, just the, the relationships that these guys have been able to develop is uh, something that, uh, you know, from when we got together in the summertime to now, we've, uh, we've really come along long way. And, and David, you, you've had a taste of success. Now, what would it mean to bring this back up to the Niagara community? It would be great. I was just looking. I was like, oh, this is a big trophy. <laughs> so it'll be, uh, it'll be awesome. You know, hasn't happened in a couple years. So we just want to be able to get right back to where uh, it needs to be in Montego Ridge and just sort of just suck, make our mark in history, um, just both in the school and also in the MAC in general, just have a chance to really set the tone and put Niagara in a great place for you to come. You know, I, I feel like we, right, it's us, it's people in the media, we look at preseason polls, we look at numbers, but Coach, I, I, I know you don't do that. In, in your teams throughout the course of a year, you outperform those rankings that I'm sure you probably don't pay much attention to. They're playing their best ball late in the year. How do you navigate a season? Right, it's October right now, so mm -hmm. it's still so much in front. But now you've done it for a few years. How do you navigate that year to get a group to be playing their best, be look the most connected at the end of a season? Well, it's, uh, I think it's a credit to the guys in the locker room, uh, to the coaching staff. Um, you know, one of the things for us uh, that we talk about is, is that, uh, hey, we just want to be better today than we were yesterday be better tomorrow than we were uh, today and so for us that having that mindset that approach um, you know it's controlling the things that we can control and and ultimately we want to maximize uh, our team in, in that group and so for us uh, you know part of our identity is we want to be a connected group we want to play together we want to be unselfish and uh, play for something bigger than us and uh, there's so much pride in history in Niagara basketball so for us to be a part of it uh, is something we're really grateful for um, and these guys have done a great job of, of buying into it, working and working together, most importantly. Well, David, I've been in the Gallagher Center when it is rocking, uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and, and you can't hear yourself think. What did, would it mean to bring this back to those fans and walk around that campus? It will mean everything. You know, just we always get endless support just in the community in general and in the Gallagher Center just for regular season games. So to, just to bring something back so special that hasn't been in the building for a long time, just Really, it will mean a lot, not only to me, but just to the whole community, to the team, to the program, and everyone who's been involved with Niagara from as far back as we can all remember. 
So it'll just be something very special, and we're looking forward for an opportunity to do that. Yeah, always one of my favorite stops in the league is when we get to go up to Western New York, catch up with the Purple Eagles. David, these teams that Coach has put together these last few years that now you've played on, great defense, right? Mm -hmm. Don't don't commit turnovers. Coach mentioned the word connected. That's what connected looks like, at least on stats. But from a player's perspective, uh, what is it like playing on a team that is connected, right, that gets better as the year goes on? Take us inside that locker room. Is it a change you can feel as the season goes on as you kind of, you know, maneuver through a max season getting ready for the tournament? I mean, the last couple of years, we've had a lot of new guys, a lot of roster turnover. So from the very beginning, when we come in June, it's just about getting connected with each other, both on and off the court. And I think those off the court personalities that we have with one another really contributes to what we do on the court. Um, as we know, we have more travel opportunities as the season goes on. So we get to have, be closer together. And once we just get, develop that camaraderie, everything else on the court sort of take care of itself as long as we buy in and we follow what we're supposed to do. And, and coach, I, I've had the pleasure of watching you practice. I saw you over when you were in Ireland, and, and you bring such passion every day. How does that translate into your players? Well, we want to uh, we want to play for each other. Um, you know, we want to be at our best each and every day. Um, and and so for us, uh, when you're working with um, coaches and players in a team, uh, having everybody kind of push in the same direction and uh, work towards a common goal. And so for us, the ability to bring energy, uh, enthusiasm, um, you know, that's, that's a big part. And those are things that we can control. And so uh, the staff and the, and the players do a tremendous job of, uh, you know, just working at that each and every day. And, and uh, you know, I think that uh, some of that is a reflection of the habits they build in practice. I got to ask you this. Does he ever get out on practice floor? Oh, yeah, a couple of times. <laughs> a couple of times he gets out there, shows he still got it. So we appreciate that, just having him out there be able to not only talk, talk, to it, talk to us about it, but also show us, too, so we know where it's coming from. Well, David, Coach, we really appreciate the time today, and, and as we get ready for the start of the season, uh, talking to you just makes us even more excited. So we really appreciate it. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck.